So we have all our uh, text laid out in here, which is all well and good, but um, this is Illustrator. There's so much we can do. Why leave our text frames set to just standard text frames when we can do so much more? So if you, with your selection tool active, click on the biggest text frame containing the word detours, in the properties panel, amongst the appearance options of things like fill and stroke, there is an icon for effects. And that symbolizes that you can find a menu of effects. Ingenious. Click on that uh, icon to reveal a drop down menu. And amongst all the different types of categories in here, there is one called warp. And then you are given in the sub menu in there a whole range of different types of warps that uh, range from the handy to the weird and wonderful. I'm going to start by choosing one that is just very simple and very straightforward called arc. Click on that. It applies the effect with its default settings. If you don't see it changed, do make sure that the preview checkbox is turned on. The only thing that's changed is the bend. It's bent the uh, text upwards by 50%. Now, if I drag that and change it, this dialog box sometimes does this. You change the value and it doesn't change the text. My suggestion would be turn the preview checkbox off, turn it back on again, and it just suddenly springs to life. And it's like, oh, oh yes, sorry. I was, I was meant to show you that it was at 87%. And it just gives Illustrator a bit of a nudge. So you can now change that and it should update. That's 100%, which obviously is just way, way over the top in our scenario. Um, the default was 50. Both of those values are positive. So anything to the right hand side of the bend will bend your text upwards. If I drag this to the left hand side, Anything now which is a negative value will bend your text downwards. So um, yeah, it's it's fairly sort of risk free really. You can just drag sliders around fairly straightforward and 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 tweak your text. Now this is set to a bend of horizontal. You can choose vertical, which will do that kind of thing. So um, that's the difference between horizontal and vertical. I'm going to change mine back to horizontal in here. If I just increase the bend back to around about its default in there. You've got distortions, horizontal and vertical. So you can go for a horizontal distortion, which looks like this. So it will distort the text from left to right. And then if I do the vertical one, well, it looks like that. So we've got, you know, just so many options in here that you can work with. Um, also notice that at the top, we've got something called style. That was the list of, uh, of options you could see, but now they're, they're given a slight symbol next to them, a small symbol that you can see, which can give you a sense of what the effect would look like. So if you want to see what your text looks like as a shape of a fish, wonder no more. I will, however, go back to the style menu, choose arc, and then set the bend value to about 15%. And then to finish off, I'll increase the vertical distortion to around about 10%, and that will make the text look a little bit more impactful. And with those final adjustments made, I'll head down to the OK button and click on it to apply the edits. What you'll notice is that if you wish to edit that in the future, you can hover over there and double left click, and you can swipe over the text is still editable. You have not lost anything in terms of type formatting functionality. I can hit the escape key, um, the only thing that is a little bit odd is that is the highlight of the original characters that appears on screen. But with that frame selected, you'll notice that next to effects, we now have warp and arc. If you wish to edit that, anything inside of Illustrator that has a word with a dotted underline is a link to those options. When I click on that, it takes us back to warp options and you can modify them if you wish to. But in my case, I'm going to click on cancel. And all that remains really is just to move my cursor to the side and then just tap the down cursor key on the keyboard just to get my text looking a little bit more centered between the top and the bottom text frame in there like so. So that's a warp. It's not destructive um, and it ranges from being slightly subtly handy to um, very weird and wacky.